This is part four of going down the mine shaft. Part five, if you count the time I dropped the camera. I showed the first video to the climbers at the ECO4 Escalada Climb Store in Aguas Calientes where they volunteered to help me. That's how I got my crew. And they said they had helped me get it back, which we did after hours of going hundreds of feet down through a dangerous pass and even two levels lower where we found the camera in the largest room that I have ever seen in my life. All we have to do now is get the camera and ourselves out alive. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if there is a dislike on this video, it is my loving cousin, Jose, and I give him permission to because it was dangerous. to it'd be a lot more work but if he pulls the rope up and lowers it down on that far side we wouldn't have to go through this part here mm -hmm. I'll, hook on, I'll tie the backpack and then just hold the end. lower the backpack down on the far side do you think that'd be a good idea it's kind of sketchy but What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? He's up. Yeah. All right. Shoot, I guess I'll go next. Sí, manda la punta si quieres. ¿Qué dice? I think I'm ready. Just scared, that's all. <laughs> Does that look good? <laughs> Alright, coming up. Yep, just coming up slow. Oh, really? Yeah. What's he saying? Did he get it? All right, I'm right at the bad part. Daniel, I think there's going to be some big rocks coming down. All right, rocks are going to come down now. Almost. One more. One more. <laughs> and then we're past the dangerous part and to the difficult part. Yeah. Listo, everything is good and ready. Come up slow and be careful. If you look that way, there's a floor up there. Oh, it's all stretchy. That thing. Okay, right. I think once I'm past this first rock, Yep. About 1,000 more of those and you'll be up. Uno mas, but uh, I'll drink. I'll keep that one.
Come on, pull it up. There it goes. I'm currently down in Mineshaft in Mexico right now. Waiting my turn to go up. If you look real close, there's all kinds of like gold. Like, see, there's a speck right there. But it could be fool's gold. Nevertheless, this is a mine shaft, a gold mine. So, yeah, I don't really know if this is gold or not. But what they do is they crush everything up, they burn it down, and gold comes out of it. I don't know if that's the gold that we're seeing. They say you can't see the gold. This shaft right here isn't as deep as the other shaft that I got lowered down. But it gets really, really big down there. Really big. Probably won't be filming on the way up because I'll be more focused on my climb. Going up, just, it's the same thing over and over and over. It's gonna be dark by the time I get out. We started early this morning. Any words for your YouTube viewers? <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> and if you try it at home, I'll ask why you live in a mine shaft. <laughs> well, it smells like oxygen up here. <laughs> I was looking for the sunlight. You got the moonlight. <coughs> See up right here. Yep. And then. Uh, step on, on, on your right. Oh, there you go. Alright, unhook me. To think people charge to go to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, these are. Took a little longer than I thought. <laughs> a little bit. Like 12 hours. Was it really? Are you happy you got your yeah. camera back? <laughs> it gets huge down there. It seems like it'd be easy to explore, but we were yeah, yeah, we were done by the time we got down there. Gold. Once I got my camera back up to civilization, uploaded it to my computer to see what it captured, and it said the file was corrupted. Insta360 can and will fix this for free, but it takes up to five weeks and they cannot recover the audio, which I'm a little bit happy about because I was panicking on my way down. I fell so in love with this shot here of going down the mine shaft that I decided to strap it to the stick here and send it down several other mine shafts to see what's on the bottom. And I did. I sent it down a bunch of them and on the last one, literally the last one, this happened. Hopefully we have enough to turn the lights on. That'd be horrible to forget that was <laughs> Each one of these lights is around $40. With my expensive gas monitor and my Insta360 camera, I'm sending right around $1,000 down the hole. Down she goes. We had a whole bunch of footage. Yeah, a whole bunch of footage in that one. I have no idea how deep that one is. So it might take uh, someone like Frank to get that one out. My camera is gone for good. There's some really good footage on there, so if anybody wants to go down and get that, feel free. I did send my GoPro down after it with this footage right here on a low battery with what rope I had left and I'm actually not sure it is that far down if you can see right here. We were going down pretty fast but you can see the light from the selfie sticks shining on the bottom. So yes, I still don't know how far down it is but I'm not sure if I'll be able to talk anybody else into going down one of these because of how much work it takes to go down and up. And maybe someday we will see that awesome footage. But until then, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Made some good friends, and that's what made it worth it. We're done filming for today. Adios.